Hey future you, this is Gemini, day two of Seoul, South Korea. Today we woke up early and our dad was super kind and he got us some bread from the local bakery. Our dad has been such a huge help with the move and he also knows our favorite bread is Anpan, so we were really happy when he brought it home. Also this bakery called Artise was absolutely amazing. We've been going here several times since because we loved it so much. But then we headed downstairs um, out of the lobby and actually just across the street which is where the bus stop is so luckily it's super conveniently located but i'm not gonna lie we did get very lost um so it took us a lot longer to get to campus than we expected but i'm sure that's normal trying to get around and get used to the subway system and the bus system so trying not to be too hard on ourselves once we arrived on campus we were able to find the college of business administration because it was really close by luckily It was also really nice to be able to see a little bit of the Seoul National University campus. It's so beautiful and it was really pretty in the winter time. After that, we decided to go to a convenience store and we picked up a few different snacks to have while we were walking around the campus. So we got some jellies and then also these wasabi almonds that are pretty popular in Korea. Then we started walking around and looking for our classes. So some of our classes are located in the School of Humanity. So it is quite an uphill walk. We definitely got very tired out, but it's kind of good because it gives us a little bit of exercise. And we were able to locate our classrooms and kind of see where we have to go for the next couple of days. After this, we also visited the SNU Business School, which was one of our favorite buildings on campus so far. We went for the exchange student orientation, so they provided food and snacks, and we got to meet a lot of really nice people. Everyone was really friendly, and we already made a few friends on the first day. This was a view of the mountains when we came home and it was absolutely breathtaking. We were just so amazed and just felt so grateful in that moment to be here in Seoul experiencing all of this. And so we walked home, we took a longer route because we wanted to look around. We also made our way back to Artise, I hope I'm saying that right, the bakery because like we said, we love that bread so much and we actually wanted to surprise our dad and bring some home for him. Unfortunately, after picking up a few items and taking them to the counter, we actually realized that we forgot to bring our the car that we can use overseas. But hopefully you can still enjoy all these beautiful shots of the bread because who doesn't like bread? Our Airbnb host was super kind and left behind a lot of snacks for us and so we picked up one of the Biscoff cookies and we almost finished the entire box because they were so good. We'll definitely try them again later. And we also got a tote bag today at school which was pretty cool. One of the coolest parts of the apartment is this elevator call button. So you click it and it actually brings up an elevator to your floor. It is definitely really convenient and we're just really surprised. It's definitely one of the coolest parts of the apartment. After that, we decided to head to Ixundong, which is located quite close to our apartment. We wanted to take our dad to a special dinner because we found this place before we arrived in Korea and it looked really beautiful. On the way to Ixundong, there's lots of wonderful street food stalls that you can check out on your way up to the Ixundong village. The village itself is so beautiful. There are so many cafes and restaurants and also photo booths that you can stop by at. The place that we wanted to take our dad is called Chiang Mai Bangkok and it is such a beautiful restaurant. It's so beautifully lit and when you step inside, it has such a warm atmosphere to it. And we sat down at this table that was right by the entrance and had a nice view. The restaurant was already quite packed when we arrived, so we were really lucky that we got a seat without a reservation. And now I'm just going to stop talking because I want you to enjoy some shots of the food because it was amazing. It was so delicious. We finished everything even though we were initially quite scared that we ordered too much food um, and I think it's because the portions in Korea are a lot better to our size than in America. We were also able to walk around Ixundong for a little bit afterward and we checked out a few of the photo booths and stores but after that we headed home because we had a big day ahead of us. It was really fun exploring a new part of Seoul and we're really excited for all the new places we're going to visit in the next couple of days. But for now, wish us good luck getting around because we did get lost quite a few times on campus and in Seoul. So. 
will definitely need it.